so. Hi, Ted. Thank you for your delivery. I love these, you guys. This is awesome. <laughs> I have a question for you. Yeah. Look at this. Do, do you ever read postcards when you're delivering the mail? I don't read the personal content, but now I have an option <laughs> to read this one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I was just curious because I've been thinking about postcards and like how if I was a mail carrier, I would want to like right read. I'm, I'm more scared. curious where they come from all right that's about it I like it well thanks finally got captured Ted yeah. <laughs> have a good right. day you too <gasps> hi buddies I'm here with Michelle today in the shop we're kicking it old school sitting on the ground here by the best natural light this is where I filmed a lot of videos before I started filming at home and we have Atticus Finch in the background singing his little morning songs. Yep. Atticus wants to say hello. So yesterday I sat down to film a series of videos, Snail Mail Throwback Thursday, and I was telling Michelle about some of my old letters that I was looking at from my old pen pals, and we went on this long trek down memory lane talking about the 90s and Lisa Frank and early stationary memories. So I asked Michelle today to bring in some of the stationery that she found in her own snail mail vault. And we have that to look at today. So Michelle, hello. Hi. What did you bring for us today? Things I have not touched in years. So I'm kind of excited to open them. I just dug through all of these like boxes of memories I kept up with. Oh my gosh, okay. Wow, I really haven't touched this in forever. Puppy. It's the pen. I love it. Yeah, I have not seen this since I was probably, I don't know how old, but. Lisa Frank always did a good job of taking a theme. Yes. And then continuing it across a whole line Ooh. of things. Clearly I like the sticker now. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't write much letters, but I did use the stickers. <laughs> and the stationery, I like, I love the sheets, the oh, rainbow. Yeah. That's fun, the die cut at the top. So Is that a, like, oh, they got a little high heel, a like cheetah print high heel. Oh, absolutely. That's adorable. Yeah. And the, the rainbow is always my favorite. Anything rainbow yes. or bright colored was like, it was, it was very 90s, but it was also something I just really enjoyed. But as a, as a brand, Lisa Frank, you knew exactly what her work was because of the color palette a lot exactly. of the time. Exactly. Everything matched. <gasps> oh, that was cute. I know. I love this one. Okay. So <laughs> oh. it's a different kind of little envelope. Little puppies. Oh my gosh. I don't even remember half of oh, this stuff. Oh, they're sparkly. I think they're tattoos. <gasps> <gasps> oh, they're tattoos. We may have to uh, Oh, oh they're, they're Eastery. They're so cute. The perfect timing. <laughs> Apparently I love the bumblebees. I used up the, um, the famous like back oh, yeah. the purple. There's so much to learn from Lisa Frank. I'm always looking at everything from like a, a business perspective. And I feel like looking at this stuff, I'm reminded of how like every detail was thought of yeah. and how building her brand was very intentional. Her name is on everything. Oh yeah. I had no idea it was a person. I just, Lisa Frank as a kid just meant color. Remember getting bunny? Yes, it's like a little paintbrush. The kid. You, you don't think about how that some as a person you just think of the brand mm -hmm. and you don't even think that it's a brand you just think Lisa Frank and like that just means to me it meant rainbow it meant color mm -hmm. it didn't mean what it would to an adult I guess I don't know what you use these for they're like letters I think they're yeah you can write on the inside and then just mail them as an envelope like seal them with a sticker clearly I know my snail mail <laughs> look at this and the bugs it's like super bugs. fun format we should do this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I did love this. We can this name this video though. Business Hints from Lisa Frank. Yes. Oh yeah. Look how cute that is. And the rainbow. Oh, that's, fun. that's almost more like 80s. Yeah, it feels very that's 80s not for sure. 90s, but I know I got this probably like 95. Yeah. 96. Oh. There was a series of like bunnies. It looked a lot like this one. Oh my gosh, it's like Mardi Gras. And I love the bunnies. They're ballerina bunnies, and I did oh, ballet. Oh, yeah, you did ballet me too. too. Look how happy they are and not creepy at all. Gosh. Oh, we should start. Oh my gosh. We should start a little pen pal club. Just like a little Lisa Frank pen pal club. So if like you out there have Lisa Frank stationery in your collection yes. and would like to receive some in return, yes. 
send them to us and we will write you back. Michelle and I will send you back some fun, some fun stuff. Because it's been there sitting there doing nothing for like almost two decades. And if you're here watching this channel, there's a pretty good chance that you've been collecting stationery your whole life too. Yes. So if you were a 90s kid, I have a feeling there's like a mountain of Lisa Frank stuff still out in the world. Oh, okay. I know you can still buy some things and they've been coming back out more often, yeah. but like the original stuff, you know? Don't hoard it, share it. Yeah. About time we all yeah. wrote through back. some of our collections. <laughs> and then you have a sticker collection. Uh-huh. This is like the original. Write us a note. We love hearing from our fans. Join Club Lisa Frank. Oh, that's in her address. Fun. In Arizona. That's super fun. We should all join Club Lucy Frank. I know. Okay, so you know in my blog, the blog I wrote, this is the little sticker book I bought for the first time. It's not Lisa Frank. It's San Rio, but there's, this is the first, one of the first things I got at a stationery store when I was little. It's from 1995. And I use only some of the stickers. How old were you in 1995? Four. You're my son's age. Whoa. That's so crazy to think about. Yes, and he, this is the stuff he's gonna have. Yeah. Like the little- Oh, he's tiny. definitely getting very into stickers. Yesterday we were leaving his school and there was like a tiny, tiny sticker on the ground and he was like, oh, someone dropped a sticker. Like, yeah. It was a tragedy. Yeah. <laughs> Barbie. Clearly there are certain things I enjoyed most. Puppies were one of them. Mm -hmm. I used up a lot of the puppies. Some of these were the ones that, you know, you would trade at the lunch table. Oh, yes. I'd say probably these two are my favorites. You these are, are the a ones... horse girl? Yeah, oh, I was asking, I rode horses. My friend Jenny and I used to talk about how like horse girls was such a thing. She would always say, I want to open a shop called Horse, horse Girls Dream Shop. I was so successful. on board. Gosh, I don't even know. Like, they're just so, oh my gosh, these are like the funkiest ones. Oh yeah, like the Egyptian cat. Uh -huh. Those are rad. I feel like I didn't use these. They were special, but they were just so unique. I didn't know what to do with them, I guess. But you I should write people letters from Lucas. Lucas is Michelle's tiny, tiny kitten. Yes. I will include a photo in this general vicinity Yay. of the time we met him, and he is so cute, so tiny. He is the reason I do need concealer because he likes to bite our noses <laughs> when we wake up in the morning to let him let us know that he needs cooking. He's very so insistent. I mean, this He's is only a really bad. Such a kitten. Little kissing fish. They're adorable. Oh my gosh, bunnies! <laughs> I love bunnies too, because Lucas looks like a bunny. Yeah, he does. He's a little hop, hopper. Yeah, I think I got these from one Easter. Yeah, from like ninety. Easter nineties Easter's was like a that was a good like Easter basket gift. Oh, absolutely. I think yeah, and most of these are actually so cute. clearly the Easter stickers were really popular <laughs> with the bunnies and things. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Dolphins. That's a full sheet too. Yes, those are really these. cute. Oh my gosh, those spring ones. You could totally use these for something. Oh my, look at the banana. Oh, I forgot about these. These are <laughs> hilarious. Look at the little like bikini. <laughs> the pineapple's really cute too. We should use these for something. <laughs> those are rad. Oh, the watermelon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, hold on. Speaking of sticker sheets, I haven't done this and I probably should. Wow. We have, we have our own sticker sheets. Yeah. Our mailboxes around the world paintings that I did. Those are available in our site. If you want them, go and get them. Do it. They're not they're Lisa so Frank, cute. but they're Sam Mills. You've already stuck one to your laptop. Oh yeah, well, which I have right here because yes. I'm trying to buy something that's definitely, if you were a Lisa Frank fan or have anything like this in your home, let us know in the comments. I want to memory lane with all of you. So make sure to let us know. Pull out those old stickers, yes. stick them on stuff. Let's use up our stationery we've been saving for 100 years. Yes. I mean, all rainbow bright colors that would yes. be happy things. We need that, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's time. Mm -hmm. All right, so thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me today. Yeah, of course. Uh, snail five. Snail soup is dry. Get this part here. Don't worry, take a long All right, one. no, we're good. We can do this. Then the camera is right here. So mostly it looks. Hi buddies, I'm here with Michelle. To <laughs> I stayed up way too late editing my book and now I have a grouchy, growly voice and I looked like I hadn't slept in three years when I woke up this morning. So thank God for concealer. <laughs> Hooray. Getting the energy, the like awkwardness out. Go. 
Um, editing is fun. I always find stuff like that. I'm just like, cut that out, cut this out, put this over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>